The man smashed a clay pot. Suddenly, a beam of golden light shot into the sky, stunning everyone present. When they looked closely, they realized there was a bowl of fried rice inside the pot. This dish had topped the world's culinary charts for a decade. Unexpectedly, it was made by a delivery guy. The judges, excited, took a bite and immediately cried out in delight, calling it a heavenly dish. The young man had intended to use this ordinary fried rice to fool the competition, but to his surprise, he received unanimous praise from the judges. Even his rivals, after tasting it, couldn't help but rave about it, claiming his fried rice was better than that of the culinary god. However, to undermine him, one rival deliberately stated that the fried rice was unremarkable. Young man's boss, a female CEO, wanted to prove the fried rice could win the competition and distributed it to everyone present. The competing chefs, after tasting it, found it unbelievable, rushing to compete for a taste, declaring it a lifelong honor to eat it. Yet. The young man still doubted that an ordinary fried rice could win the competition. The female CEO reassured him not to worry. As expected, the judges all voted for him, and the young man won the first round of the culinary competition. The audience unanimously hailed him as the new culinary god. Seeing this, his ex-girlfriend asked him for the fried rice recipe, promising to marry him if he shared it. Now, even though she didn't want a bride price, the young man still refused to marry her, drawing laughter from the audience. Then came the second round, the noodle dish competition. To retaliate for the young man rejecting her, the ex-girlfriend vowed to make a noodle soup to win. However, the first contestant suddenly made steamed buns, something only a few in the world could do. Thus, everyone believed he had a high chance of winning. Seeing the first contestant's buns, the ex-girlfriend felt deflated, worried her noodle soup wouldn't stand a chance. But her boss suggested she had the culinary god's secret seasoning, which could turn the noodle soup into a worthy competitor. The female CEO, seeing the strong dishes from both contestants, worried the young man might feel too much pressure telling him it was okay even if he lost this round. However, the young man's culinary skills were 3,000 years ahead of modern techniques, thinking both the buns and noodle soup were too ordinary. Suddenly, the first contestant shaped three buns at once, a feat unprecedented. The young man looked at the oddly shaped buns with disdain, then began to use Tai Chi techniques to shape his buns. The crowd was captivated by his unique movements, and soon he produced smooth, round buns. The first contestant lost confidence, feeling he would lose again. Suddenly, the young man picked up a rolling pin and flattened the buns he had just made, then wrapped meat filling inside, planning to make meat buns. After the second round of culinary competition ended, the judges tasted the ex-girlfriend's noodle soup and the first contestant's buns, declaring both dishes to be nearly divine. Quickly, the young man presented his meat buns for the judges to taste. After tasting, the judges stood up and shouted divine. Curious, they asked how he could make two divine dishes in a row. Ultimately, there was no doubt that the young man became the new culinary god. After the competition, the young man's fried rice caused a sensation throughout the city. Even the culinary god himself took a bite, finding the fried rice tastier than his own. When his granddaughter wanted to taste it, she was stopped. The culinary god is afraid of being surpassed and deliberately says that the fried rice is too hard to eat. The granddaughter suspected that the young man was posing as her grandfather's apprentice and angrily went to confront him. 